So first you type in the command in your command prompt, it will launch TechUI's browser. First you will visit the SLS page and then you'll go and find the email with the two-factor authentication. So it's somewhere here. Copies the OTP and paste it inside SLS and then you're in. Okay. So first I'll tell take you to go to my drive. Then I'll click on add new, click on the overflow menu, then click on the custom and then uh, type in this thing and then save. Then you will add a new activity and then we'll ask it to type in the title again and then save. So it's doing line by line uh, like a computer. So now in this case, uh, it's going through a loop. So this loop has two branches. If it uh, detects a certain option, then it will do a multiple choice. In this case, it's doing a free response. So this is a free response. I will show you how to do the, the free response. So it's running the else statement here. Okay. Where is it getting all the data from? Uh, let me see. So there's an output file, which I can show a little bit. Let me see whether I can minimize this a bit. And then it's, it's getting the data from uh, a CSV file, a pre-processed CSV file. So it's going to key in all the multiple choice options and then you choose the correct option and then you'll go on, continue to look through and check the second in this case i think this is a fourth question now so the fourth question is a free response so you'll say what is the number you know here and rounded to one decimal place of which then uh, we write the type ui to detect the answer and then key into the correct place in sls so this actually potentially can save a lot of time if you have hundreds of such question that you need to key inside SLS then this can be automated uh, it typically takes half a day or so to to improve the code until it is ready for production use uh, but the, the the important thing is the the code is going to be open source la, so I'm going to put it out so that you can edit it and, and customize it to your own use so uh, let me just explain a little bit more so now it's going through question 7 okay so question 7 is a free response okay it's getting the data from here okay another free response Okay, so the multiple choice now is coming up. So you click on the multiple choice, which is here. You enter the question, type in the paragraph, you click on it, and then you will then create the extra two options in SLS and key in the answers, the options into the paragraphs. And then when it's done, you choose the correct option. Okay, then you're safe. So it's, it's quite human readable. I mean, um, at first it could, of course, it's definitely not easy. But uh, after a while, uh, if this is already pre-written for you, it should not be too difficult to figure out how to edit the, the code. Uh. So, of course, learning is always difficult. Okay, now it's going through this question. All right. Okay. So yeah, fourth option. Then you create uh, another two more multiple choice. 
okay so you know it's drawing the the string from here and then you key in all these different options of course you'll create the last two options and then because SLS only has the first two so you key in you key in into the paragraph so how do you find the the names of all these element is you go to developer tools then you go to inspect element then you uh, right click and then copy out the xcode So as far as possible, try to not block the the Tech UI Chrome browser because sometimes uh, it, it may require the element to be searchable on on the Chrome. So it, sometimes you may have something that is blocking it, then it, the automation may fail. So just some of these things you must take note of. Uh, if you're using Tech UI uh, using XPath code, then uh, like me, I'm running on a secondary monitor. This is fine. Uh, but sometimes Tech UI also support computer vision, so you must make sure that your when you're doing computer vision, meaning that you you select an image like this, then you tell Tech UI to click on it. The 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 library that Tech UI use, uh, requires it to be, this automation to be done on the. Uh, primary monitor. Okay, so now it has finished all the automation. You can see that now it has completed and it took uh, about 400 seconds so yeah thank you for watching hope you have uh, learned something